What's up guys, my name is Urge4, not uh, it's Urge4, and welcome back to KOTOR. And yeah, this is the second upload of the day, so I could make it up to you guys because I haven't uploaded for three days, and I'm still really sorry about that. But hey, at least two videos in one day, so hopefully that makes it all up to you guys, and I'm really, really sorry again. Oh yeah! I didn't even sing. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, this is a mess. Okay, let's go and go to the shadow realm. The shadow, shadow realm. And we have a boy, Jolie Bindo, the very best character in all of Kotor. I don't know about the best combat wise, but hey. It's awesome, so it doesn't matter. See? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerka equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. But there are others, each blocking similar points on Zerka. <laughs> it is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. I can manipulate it for a uh, Let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashyyyk. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. Thank you, my chocolate awesome grandpa. You are the very coolest ever. <laughs> I love Jolie Bindo so much. And I hope you guys love Jolie Bindo as well. Oh yeah, if you kind of hear it, my voice is kind of, oh yeah, m macho and all that. It's because I have cough and yeah, this is my voice for a while. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't distract you and hopefully you still enjoy a more sexy voice, I guess. Sexy, silent voice. Or maybe you don't. <clears throat> actually mind, I don't know or you don't really hear it it's not that how can I say this uh, whatever man <laughs> let's just loot some stuff and talk to what's his name oh, perfect pronunciation classic Hello, uh, I'm clicking. What the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah! 
Okay, we're back. I had to restart stuff. Stupid Android coat or port. Why are you, why are you gonna be a dick dick? Come on, man. Okay, let's get the remains. Pretty crap. Stupid Mandalorians. You guys are overrated, anyways. It's there. I said it. I said it. Even though I don't really think it. <laughs> I think Mandalorian's pretty awesome. I wish they have like a Mandalorian game that would be sick. Make your own Mandalorian? No, even like just a game where you make your own bounty, bounty hunter. Like it's bounty hunter centric Star Wars game. You know, like the freaking just the dark parts of Star Wars. I mean, like the underground, of course, and that would be nice. Star Wars plays in terms of anyone, <laughs> but I think you cannot make your own character there. And it was supposed to be a younger Boba Fett, so mm, not really what I wanted close enough, but never got released. Never got released. Damn you, Disney. <laughs> Damn you. Wait. <laughs> Where are my party members? Freak. Jolie, what's killing? Okay, Jolie Bindo. <sighs> Very nice, very great. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Come on, man. Where did you go there, guys? Don't fight anyone without me. You're going to lose. If you're just, you know, auto recommend characters. <laughs> guys, you know, fully customized, fully optimal. You guys aren't. Just aren't. So please. There, there we go. Basula dead as well. Ah, uh, good thing I came to the rescue and resurrected me. For I am a Jedi. Ah, <laughs> uh, you think I was gonna say something else? Nah, we're keeping it Christian friendly here. Oh, Freyr, talk to you later. I need to find all the Mandos. I need to just like finish the side quest. I'm gonna talk to Freya and then do the star map. No, no, actually, I'm going to kill that big creature first. You'll see, you'll see. Then go to the star map and then go to Freya and then go up. That's the plan, anyways. But if you know me, <laughs> uh, my playthroughs always have the hiccups. I always mess up. Always. That's just classic DH4. But then again, come on man. Make them imperfect, it's okay for you not to be perfect. At least you're doing your best. That's why Bacon is the best. Because it's not perfect. But it's doing it. It's best. It tastes really awesome. And it does. And yeah, hopefully you learn from that, guys. You learn from that, kids, adults, teenagers, all of you. That's not really perfect. What? Try to do your best. No, do your best. Do or do not. First, don't try. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty solid Yoda. Not really. Who am I kidding? Okay, uh, where am I going? Uh, it's too dark. I can't see much. Boom. Uh, see? Already messed up. <laughs> I didn't. No, 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 I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I'm not just like, <laughs> let, let me pretend that I'm messing up, no, I'm not like that, I'm all authentic, <laughs> which means all my mess ups are all authentic as well, so, I don't know if that makes it better, but it's there, man, it's there, where those mandos anyway, what the freak, uh, it's the problem, and the map looks kind of the same. Okay, the swoop bikes, that's where we'll go last. But... Oh, there. Dead Wookiees. That's the sign. But first, I need to remove the weapons. It's kind of tedious, too. Pretty annoying. First time I played it, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm like, 
Where the heck are those mandos? And I had to look up. I look it up on the internet, look for a guide, and... Come on, don't judge me, guys. What am I gonna do? Just roam around for two hours or so, not accomplishing anything? <laughs> nah. Okay, there we go. Hey, you boys. Prepare to die. Mandalorians, you're so messed up and hardcore. Maybe that's why I liked you more before the Disney era. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Roasting Disney again, that's such a low-hanging fruit, but it's fun. It's not a UH4 playthrough if I didn't roast them. Come on, guys. You're used to this. You're very, very used to this. Uh, come on! Okay, there we go. I wish I had that skill for Kotor 2, where just one kick away and all the important buffs just activates, you know what I mean? But that doesn't happen in Kotor 1, and you need to manually click them as the enemy is beating the crap out of you. Barely. I'm the juggernaut! I'm the juggernaut, dude! Speaking of juggernaut, man, comics has been crap. Modern comics. You know that retcon <laughs> with Nightcrawler? Mystic is now the freaking father of Nightcrawler, not a Zazel anymore. B very cool, I guess. Weird political gender agenda crap in our comics. I just want to have fun. <laughs> it made sense that a Zazel is the father, you know. It's a great contrast that they're so much alike, yet they are different in terms of their actions, their life choices, their outlook in life. Nightcrawler is just a nice Christian dude, why can't you just let him have that? <laughs> and his father is like a freaking crazy genocidal maniac who wants to rule the world, but Nightcrawler still got his powers. How are they gonna explain that? His powers have been evolving in the comics. It's crazy. How are they gonna justify that Destiny and Mystique is his parents? Mystique doesn't have teleportation powers. Uh, and Nightcrawler. Really, Nightcrawler's thing is. I don't know, man. There's nothing alike. <laughs> About Mystique and Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler only has Mystique skin. Other than that, nothing else. It's all with Azazel. How are they gonna explain that and him evolving his powers like Azazel with the little imp things? I don't know, man. Stupid. No wonder why no one buys comics anymore. They deserve it. They deserve it. I wish Marvel would just fail Disney. So we can get better quality. <laughs> I'm not saying I want them to fail for the sake of it because they're like mainstream now. I'm saying I want better quality. I want everything to just restart. <laughs> I want better quality things. And you should stop being just okay with it. People, come on. Don't you want better stuff? <laughs> it's okay to critique. It's okay to... <laughs> <laughs> Chill! Please, please. There's so much things that are better than the first part. <laughs> I miss the days when they actually took effort that they have to prove something. And, um, in the first phases of Marvel were perfect, but you can feel that they're trying, you know? But now it's just like, yeah, those shills, they'll eat anything. It's okay. Who cares about quality? No one. No one. And yeah, at least now, a lot of people are realizing it. Not enough. Not enough. Yeah. I'm boycotting Marvel because I'm so big in YouTube. <laughs> uh, am my Anyway, I'm just like an ant in the YouTube sphere just wants to have fun and want to make people laugh or have fun for a while because I know the day is hard and I just want to cheer up people 
Cause gosh dang my ads a bit noisy <laughs> outside. Uh, don't you worry. My studio is soundproof. Not really, I'm just in a pretty empty room, so I'm trying my best. Midship studio. <laughs> I hope you don't mind my six years <laughs> because I recorded in the morning and my voice wasn't this bad yet but as the day went on my voice just sounded like this and now we shall put the sensors the signal device what am I talking about I should chat about my rants and concentrate on playing <laughs> Okay, time to go, Mando Commando. <laughs> that crime! That has to be a crime! <laughs> uh, that's so easy. Uh, just like your mom. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't like it. Just damn it. Can you please die already? Should I instead? Yeah, I don't know if you don't get annoyed when I always like say something and I just do this. <laughs> this it's like a turret thing. Not really a turret. I don't have turrets of course. It's just my mannerism. Even in real life. And I talk and I talk more and then I just do <laughs> instinctively like this laugh thingy. It's not fake, but it's also not real real, you know what I mean? It's just a mannerism, it's hard to remove, so hopefully you don't get annoyed by that. I am trying really bad not to do that. It's annoying me as well. I, I can't explain it. <laughs> I can't explain it. See, I, I just did it. I just did it. It's hard to remove, but then again, I think of it as a part of me, so... I don't know, should I be ashamed of it? <laughs> Or should I just embrace it and whoever likes it, likes it. Whoever doesn't like it, then I understand. <laughs> I understand you, so it's okay. Hey! Uh, I killed them all. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Perfect pronunciation. <laughs> I'm a Wookiee myself, uh, if you didn't notice. Because I don't have a camera. But soon, when I have a camera, you'll just see my hairy face. I'm just a big Wookiee. Well, short Wookiee. I'm an Asian Wookiee. A 5'6 Wookiee. <laughs> yourself, Freya. Your friends. Don't you remember me? <laughs> well, this may be difficult. Okay, Freya. Well, hey, I actually pronounced it right. Okay. Well, the right pronunciation is <laughs> something like that. But, Freya, Freya, that sounds like an guardian name. Just guardian in this, Freya. Mm. Whatever. Mm. 
That's when I first saw him. I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? <laughs> Don't you worry, Freya, we're gonna get the sword of Baka. So wait, Chewbacca's royalty? Or kind of like a deity, I f What? That doesn't make sense. And then in the original movies, it's just like a freaking, I don't know, scoundrel, basically. <laughs> a smuggler with Han Solo, but... Is kind of a royalty in Kashyyyk, the sword of Baka, Chewbacca. That's not coincidental. Then again, they kind of explained it in Jedi. Blah, blah, blah. What game is that again? Fallen Order, I think, or whatever. Yeah, Jedi Fallen Order. That Kashyyyk was enslaved again, apparently, for some reason, by the Empire. I guess it's okay again. <laughs> Then again, it was okay when it was still the Republic. It's kind of a weird thing. So much slavery in Star Wars now, I think of it. Huh. Weird. <laughs> weird, man. But I think I already discussed this in the last episodes. I forgot. Me and my dum dum. And now, we shall kill this Lovecraftian Shungus called the Ritual Beast. If you do not have a real name, then I shall call you as one of the Lovecraftian monsters by H.P. Lovecraft. Starts with an N. No, it actually starts with an S. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, what do you think I was gonna say? Oh, nothing? Good. Uh, where's that? Circlet there. Kinda trash. Kinda good for a 
Jedi Counselor. Can you... Oh, come on, Jolie. Oh, yeah, because you're not full, full light side. Forgot. Sorry, Jolie. Guess you're gonna have to wear those weird things. Wait, you had an item that looked like that. Bin those bands or something like that. I guess it's perfect for you then. Kind of weird on your bald head though, so. Still looks lovely on you, Jolie Bindo, so don't worry, because you're my favorite. Forever and ever. And ever! Uh, too bad the remix canceled. Then again, they might have messed up Jolie Bindo. I would have lost my shyst. Uh, where's the star map anyway? Oh, there we go. Oh man, no one's gonna remove the mines. Ah, whatever, let's just... Let's get exploded time! Okay, force armor. Hopefully, just a little damage, hopefully. <laughs> oh man, that was nothing. That was nothing. Now let's talk to this computer. I see you, Ultron. You look weird here. Life form Ugh. detected. <laughs> Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. No doubt it holds what you seek. Good luck getting it operation. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the? It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be needed before access. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. Accessing. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Error. Data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. There are measures available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. With that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the star map or can be made ready. Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. Evaluation commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor, and he will serve five years, while you serve none. He is offered the same deal, but if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? I hear what happens on Kashik, and a good deal beyond. Answer the question I have posed. Are you sure? If you turn, you risk two years, or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year or five. Your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is incorrect. I must match your behavior to the pattern in memory. You must answer truthfully, knowing the consequences. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my programming. The previous incorrect response will be discounted. Future incorrect responses will result in rejection. Hypothetical. You are at war. Deciphering an intercepted code, you learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days, and they will attack one of your cities in 5 days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action?
This is no decision. I ask again, do you save your people or abandon them for the sake of the war? Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade one victory for two failures? And in so doing, alert the enemy to their broken codes. They would know that their weakness was exposed. They would reinforce and the war would go on. You save thousands at the expense of victory. You do not match the pattern in memory. Subject has failed to demonstrate the required behavior. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. Oh, that is your last mistake. Weird Ultron. Time to power up and kill this droid cuz destroy this is more advanced than the one in the supposed modern era of Star Wars oh well the technicalities and stuff then again everything now in the modern days they're all simplified Dunkin Donuts logo Coca-Cola logo kind of. damn maybe Star Wars is right I wonder why the old Modern Star Wars. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, my love is It's able droid. It barely even takes any force points. Oh, you're dead, boy. You're dead. <laughs> All too easy. <sighs> Not really. I love this game. <laughs> okay, let's start to the computer. Ultron! It would appear initial assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you seek. That information is not available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. Star map. An ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. Interesting theory. I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. Okay, time to get a star map. Time to get the star map! What? I guess I got it? Maybe I just memorized it. All that photographic memory, yo. After all, I am a Jedi. Just like in real life. Oh, you didn't know? Yes, I have the force. I have the force persuade. I have persuaded my family to love me. <laughs> uh, suckers. Actually, no. I'm too <laughs> low in the force. I'm not force sensitive enough. Oh, family, when will my tricks be powerful enough? <laughs> hey, Tatch! I hate you guys. You're so noisy. Gosh darn. Where's Freya? Uh, okay. Freya's there. Freya. What a badass name. I want that to be my name. No, no. My name would be, um, Changolion. Yeah.
Okay, pretty cool. Damn, I'm almost full light side. Hopefully by the end of the game, I'm still full light side, you know what I mean? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. And when you think about it, I'll probably mess up. Mess up. Classic UH4, baby. Now, let us go and kick Chundar's butt. Oh, I otherwise known as Chundar. Mm -hmm. The perfect pronunciation the perfect Wookiee language uh, I can be a translator for the Wookiee kind I'll be like <laughs> butthole <laughs> that'd be crazy I've earned so much Chundar points Baka points <laughs> Baka Baka Yero Kona Yero okay uh, good thing the entrance is close close enough I love force speed so much faster than the one in Kotor 2. In Kotor 2, it's like, oh yeah, you're a bit faster, but there's blurry effects. Now here, it's just like, <laughs> like freaking Sonic the Hedgehog, this shyest yo. Damn, I'm powerful. For I am speed, I need to save first. Okay. Uh, oh, there you go. Organa. You betrayed me, Organa. Let me, let me get my buffs first before I attack, okay? Okay, there we go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What's happening? Why am I not attacking? Oh my gosh, not again! Take this! You started it! Annoying as freak! Ah, uh, let's just forget about it. Forget about it. For I'm a Jedi, I'm a pacifist. I will kill you for the sake of being a pacifist. You asked for this, I didn't want it. So I had to chop off, uh, you know, all of your limbs and stuff. For I am a pacifist. I would never, ever want to hurt anyone. But you asked for it. You made me hurt you. What a long ride, sheesh Louise. Looks like a fantasy. It's like freaking the Game of Thrones book look, you know what I mean? No? Yeah, no. Don't mind it. It's not even, even called Game of Thrones, the book. It's, um, what do you call it again? No, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Whatever. <laughs>
to get clapped, Shundar! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, a song of ice and fire. I remember this. Oh, that's stupid. Streamer girl. Shots <laughs> fire. Well, not just streamer girls. Some streamers are dumb anyway, so. What? Look at XQZ. Then, yeah. All your defense and reasoning is just obsolete. Wanna look at this guy and you know. As well as the sun. Wanna look at this guy. Anyways, let's forget about it. <laughs> Okay, let's actually end Kashyyyk with Mission and um, Zalbar. Yes, there are bros here in Kashyyyk, supposedly. Man, too bad we didn't get to spend more time with Zalbar. Honestly, they should have done that. You know, instead of just like keeping Zalbar there, but then again, there wouldn't be a reason to stay. No, there would be. So we want to save Kashyyyk as well, because that's just who we are, you know what I mean? Then again, what would we do if it's like dark side? So, well, join Chundar. Actually, there's so many reasons for Zalbar to just come with me and not stay with Chundar. Why did they do that? You know, more dialogue with Zalbar, even though it's always like, uh, I don't know. I like Zalbar. Anyways, let's loot some stuff from your dead people. <laughs> uh, do you like that, Freyr? Huh? Huh? Do you like me looting corpses? Is that the Wookiee way? Huh? Honor? Yeah. Zalbar likes it. Yeah. I'm ransacking the corpse of your people and your dead son. <laughs> uh, I'm a psycho. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, I think we ransacked everything. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. You know the next phrase. See you on the next video, my dudes. UH4, signing out.